In today's video, boys, we go ahead and check out another objective card during the road to the final promo. It's none other than Galeno. Galeno is an 86 rated card. He has high, high work rates, right footer with four star skill moves and three star weak foot. Now, we don't see much versatility with the card, which is a tad bit unfortunate. He can play the left mid and left wing positions. If we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card does have the potential to be really solid in game. He does have a whopping 97 pace with 96 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. He should be absolutely electric in game. 83 shooting is an okay stat. That 86 attacking positioning and 86 finishing. Not bad stats, but I would definitely look at a chemistry style to help that out. 74 passing for someone who does play out wide isn't a great stat. 76 short pass, 61 long passes. Passing probably won't be very accurate in game. 89 dribbling is obviously where the card is going to go ahead and excel the most alongside his pace. 91 agility, not the greatest of balance at 80. 85 reactions, 88 ball control, and 92 composure. He should still be very quick and swift on the ball. And then last but not least, boys, 77 physical for the card as well. 92 stamina very nice especially with this high high work rate 76 strength and 59 aggression if we jump on over to footbin boys we can see that galeno does have five different play styles he has the relentless play style plus rapid flare first touch and quick step now with the way the card's set up i do think that if you play to his strengths he could be really op in game i'm gonna go ahead and give him the finisher chem style now with the finisher chem style we're gonna make him a lot more clinical in game and we're also gonna help out with his dribbling a tad bit as well it's gonna give him the mostly explosive acceleration type with 90 shooting overall 94 attacking positioning and 90 finishing should be extremely clinical and then it's also going to give him 94 dribbling overall 99 agility 84 balance and 99 dribbling as that subcategory so he should be a lot more quick and swift as well and if we go ahead and look at this little chart right here with the finisher chem style he does become an 89 rated left wing so that's going to be very interesting to test out in game as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 play reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is a team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new Galeno card. We're going to be playing him at the center forward position in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is. All right, boys, first things first, let's go ahead and test out the card's dribbling with the finisher chem style. Should be extremely quick and swift. And as you guys can see, man, the left stick dribbling does feel very nice. And we are going to go ahead and use him as a right sided center forward in game just because he does have three star weak foot. Galeno, good dribbling. Okay, boys, the left stick dribbling is very good. Ball roll, Trivella. Decent shape to it. Nice. Decent dribbling right here. I will say the acceleration is very good. He is very quick on the ball, which is nice. Nice little move right there. Three-star weak foot. It's a decent finish, boys. The finisher chem style is going to work really well with the card. Now, obviously, boys, with the finisher chem style, he does have like 97 attacking positioning, 96 finishing, something like that. So he should be very clinical. That is a little bit of space. Galeno. A little shimmy right there. Good ball control in and around the box. It's another great finish, man. Nice play right there. Now, as you guys know, Porto do play Arsenal in the first round of the Champions League. Are they going to go through? Probably not, but there is definitely potential with the card. Ranieri. We're actually moving the ball really well at the moment. Galeno so far, the attacking positioning has been incredible. Nice little turn right there. A little touch around. Oh, block. I probably should have just shot that a lot earlier. Now, we do have a corner. I'm not too sure where Galeno is. He is edge of the box. Ball roll. Trivella, good shape to it. Okay, I mean, if we're going to be completely honest, that probably should not be finding the back of the net because it was very central, but we'll take it. Galeno again, a little touch. We go for a power shot this time. Ooh, it's a decent attempt. I will say his long shots, for the most part, haven't been bad. Bruno, nice. One more quick passing right here, boys. Galeno, lovely turn. Oh, boys, the left stick dribbling in the box is phenomenal. We needed a little bit more power behind that shot. Out wide. Could maybe try to get him in behind, man. Just use that pace some more. Galeno, lovely first touch right there. Good acceleration as well. We'll look for the cutback. Ooh, boys, I will say the cutback wasn't great. He doesn't have the craziest of passing. I think it's like, what, 76, something like that? So definitely keep that in mind. Left stick dribbling again. We go for a Trivella. Should be a goal. Good finish. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. We're coming up against Balde, Van Dijk, Becca, Marcos, Llorente, Voller, Son. It's a decent team. But yeah, man, so far with Galeno, he has been quite clinical, which is really nice to see. His pace is really nice as well. And I feel like as a player, if you want to play him like out wide or maybe even as a striker, could be a pretty decent move. Look at that touch right there, boys. Great acceleration, great sprint speed. But Teo Hernandez is just a tad bit too quick. Galeno. I'm going to try to get him in between the fullback and the center back. Good touch right there. Good acceleration. Galeno, see you later. Ball roll. Around the goalkeeper, Ter Stegen. He's actually got that. That's very unlucky, man. Good pace again. This guy defensively has been very good. Galeno, decent pass. Little touch around Vidic. That's good. 
Really good sprint speed. Try to play it across. Mm, boys, I can't lie. We're going to score right there, but the passing is not great. If you want him to be a playmaker, maybe the dead eye chem style, because he needs that extra bit of passing. Socrates. Good. One more. Galeno. Nice little touch. I'm going to go for a power shot just for vibes. It's a decent attempt. His long shots and his power shots in general have been quite good. That is. We'll go over the top. A lot of space right here for Galeno. Again, very good attacking positioning. Try to play it across. It's a risky pass. Yeah, it's not going to work out. I maybe should have crossed that. I still one touch passing. Moving the ball really well, boys. One more. Galeno. Fake shot. Ooh, it was kind of didn't really keep that under control, but we find the back of the net. It's a very, very nice finish. The dribbling maybe could have been a bit better. Klaus, beautiful tackle. Nice, good pressure. Galeno. Use the pace right now. He's going to step with that Van Dyke, so we'll just kind of track back. Good dribbling, good acceleration after the step over. That's actually a pretty decent cutback, I can't lie. The pass right there, much better. Galeno a little bit further back. Now keep in mind, he does have high, high work rates. Play to him. Good attacking positioning. I think we timed it. We did. Go around the goalkeeper. Nice dribbling right there. And we're going to find the back of the net. That's a good goal. I think the finisher camp style is just like, it takes him to the next level with his better shooting and then also his dribbling being a lot better. Play to him. A little bit of space right here. Good initial touch. Lovely turn. The step over, it kind of got away from him, but he did uh, pull out his goalkeeper right there. Again, great dribbling. Nice, one more. Galeno. Good left stick dribbling. Very good close control right there. Step over. Four-star skill moves on to his right foot. Beautiful play, man. That is a lovely goal. All right, boys, here we are jumping into our final game using Galeno. We're coming up against Allison, uh, De Bruyne, Melito, Foden, Valverde, Paulo Futre, McManaman. It's not a crazy team. If you can't fit him into your main team, I do think that he would make a pretty decent super sub around like the 60th minute. Galeno, we go for a power shot. Ooh, it's a good save by Allison. Bruno. Let's see if we can get off to a good start in this game. Galeno, beautiful drop of the shoulder. Very quick. The explosive acceleration off of the crossbar. That's a bit unlucky. Klaus, lovely step. Galeno. Little step over. Good pace, man. He's very, very quick. Played across. Again, boys, the passing. The passing does let him down just a tad bit. Try maybe like a 1-2. Get him in behind. Galeno, good attacking positioning. Touch. Touch. We'll go for a shot. It's a lovely finish, boys. That's not an easy finish either. Great sprint speed. There was no catching up to him. Great touch and a great finish. One more. I'm going to swing it to Bruno and then just try to play an over top through ball if he doesn't track the run. Galeno. Good touch. The first touch has been really good. Back onto his right foot. Fake shot. Three star weak foot. Oh, that's a good save by Allison. Galeno. Heel to heel. Good left stick dribbling right there. Burba spin. Ooh, the little turn right there. Maybe the balance could have been a little bit better. Good acceleration. Should be a goal. Ooh, boys, we should be scoring right there. I feel like that should have been a goal. Not gonna lie, man. We've created a lot of chances with him. I saw. Ooh, boys, the dribbling right there. That skill move was fantastic. Lovely finish. This guy has just run in a straight line with Ronald Kuman. We could spring into a counterattack. Galeno, touch. I'm gonna go for a power shot on the volley. That's a lovely finish, man. That is a world-class goal. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Galeno Road to the final card in a few games of foot champions. And to be completely honest, man, a pretty solid player. If we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, the 97 pace, he is absolutely electric in-game, which is great to see. Now, with the finisher cam style, he does have 94 attacking positioning and 98 finishing. And in-game, he was very clinical, which is a huge positive. Now, the 74 passing was not a great stat. And if you do end up using him, keep in mind that his passing isn't great, man. He is going to misplace a lot of passes 89 dribbling another very important stat for the card with the finisher camp style he does have 99 agility and 84 balance and for the most part he was extremely quick and swift on the ball and then last but not least boys 77 physical 92 stamina is good because he does have high high work rates the 76 strength and 59 aggression he isn't the strongest of players overall boys i'm gonna go ahead and give the card an 8.5 out of 10 rating i think in game he does have a lot of really good qualities now the one letdown for the card is that he does have three star weak foot so you definitely have to force it onto his right foot the passing in game isn't great either so you definitely can't use him like as a playmaker as you guys saw in some of those clips man we get into really good areas but then his passing kind of lets him down which is a tad bit unfortunate and as you guys know porto did draw arsenal in the first round of the champions league knockout stage and to be completely honest man do they have really good chances of making it far in the tournament probably not so he's probably gonna stay an 86 rated card you never know things might change they might make it to the semi-finals but the chance and the likelihood of that happening isn't very high i think the best way to use the card if you do want to go ahead and incorporate him into your team is probably to use 
use him as a super sub around like the 60th minute. I think in off of the bench with the other players are really tired. I think with his high pace and his high dribbling, he could definitely be a threat. But for the most part, boys, I think at this stage of FC24, I do see a lot of people probably using him as fodder. But that is going to be the end of today's video, boys. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Bulba, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.